Gary Ng, aka Singapore's Edison Chen, has had a few close shaves when it comes to meeting up with strangers. One of them involved popular local blogger Naomi Liu. In one of my blogger posts, uh, there's one post about this guy actually acted as uh, used, it, used her photo mm. in the MSN. Lah. So eventually I was she caught my attention because she looked one of looked like one of my ex-girlfriend. So I posted it in my blog blog as well. Eventually we chat for probably one to two weeks and she happened to actually uh, manage to actually con some of my cash like which I do a uh, in uh, online transfer to her. Mm. So in fact after that I feel that's more more fishy and I try to prompt more into to her lah. Mm. Happened that I tried to ask for a number, I wanted to call her all this and somehow she refused. But actually the she is actually a guy. I say I checked through the bank uh, account number itself, you are actually a guy, you are not a, a you are not Naomi. And then that person confessed yes, I'm not a guy. But I know Naomi. I can introduce her to you say it's okay I found my own way and so in the next post I actually posted all Naomi photos yeah. online and asked who is she yeah. and people revert to me how could you not know her she's actually Naomi the one of the famous blogger now if that happened to me or you we might swear off meeting strangers especially at night but for Gary it's nothing ventured nothing gained I did meet up with one uh, at her so-called place lah. But I'm, I'm inside there and everything is really dark. It's a night time, everything is dark, pitch dark. And you know, we didn't went to the bedroom itself, we just stay at the living room. And she's, I, I can feel that she's quite a huge size. And I have this feeling that after her voice tone seems to be changing a bit. How far into it were you when you realized something was wrong? Five minutes into you know, it? It's just nearly two to three minutes only. Okay. And she, she just trying to really strip me off my pants. And I will say, oh, I, I, I need the condom. I have the condom, she said. So I say, uh, I think let me get it from my car. No, I, I have it. I say, I prefer to use mine. <laughs> so after that, I'll just find an excuse. And then she refused to open up the door for me. And I, I insist that I will make some noise if you don't open the door for me. And I managed to really get out of the house and drove away. Gary also had trouble with real girls. Why? Watch on. You know, once there was this person who contacted me to meet up. And I, I did initiate at the actual uh, place. I went there but I was not at the actual place. I was at a place where I can really see the area and I can see that actually the scenario is like they are laying ambush uh, to actually... What, what, what gave it away that was an ambush? Um, no, the person started to call me, you know, call me and I, I was seeing that oh, there's actually a girl there. A girl was using a phone calling me but the other side, after that I, I said okay, I'll be reaching about 15 minutes time and I keep delaying the time. So after that, it's like I say okay, uh, I can't make it, I'm sorry. And then after that, the other, a few guys actually came over with her. And then that's how I found out she's, she just find another girl to actually help to lead me out, you know. Okay. And then after that, the guys are actually just nearby. What do you think they would do to you? No, I just think they would bash me out, definitely. With such a high risk of danger, why does Gary continue doing what he does? And why do some of his fans call him Dr. Love? Find out in the next clip.